podcast this evening. My name is Charles Wangwan from Obiungwa local government. I'm a stakeholder in all its ramifications. I'm a victim of the kidnap and misgovernance in Abia State. First, I want to ask the governor is, I did go to Abia State, my state, and the issue of Godfatherism, where we had three parallel governments. The governor's government, Mama's government, and OUK's government. I want to know how he has been able to grasp that. Then secondly, he has talked on the issue of insecurity. I personally wanted to build a factory at Abai Road that we have the property there. A demand of 50 million was made on us. I used that money to invest in stock and I lost the bulk of that money. That just went outside of it. Then secondly, we invested in real estate. Could, you, could you go to the question, please? Okay. The question I'm going is that how has the governor grappled with the different power sectors in the state to be able, because as initially he had, uh, his hands were tied in order to focus his administration. Then secondly, on the issue of youth empowerment. Because today, if you go to Abia State, why you have these crimes? The crime is a Frankenstein monster caused by the different parties. All these boys kidnapping were the boys they used in elections. So what effort are they making to rehabilitate the youths and to convert them from committing crimes into doing meaningful things like they did with the area boys in Lagos State? This Thank is my you. question. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir. Thank you very much for asking me that question and for identifying yourself. You are from Obingwa, and that is the local government where you have the highest rate of kidnapping. And that is the local government where it is a well-known fact that every family manufactures arms. Therefore, that is another local government that is very close to the border. It borders Akwaibom. This scenario that I've given you is a scenario that makes kidnapping very, very effective in Obingwa, local government. We are aware of all these things. And that is why we have concentrated our efforts in making sure that the criminals in Obingwa are caged. In Obingwa, we have a police camp. We discussed with the former Inspector General of Police, Mr. Mike Okiro, when we had this problem of constant kidnapping in Obingwa, and agreed with him. And one of the solutions we came to is to establish a mobile police station in Obingwa, so that with the presence of mobile policemen, they'll be in a position to fight this crime. Right now in Obingwa, if you go there, you see the presence of mobile policemen. We have also, in Obingwa, been encouraging every person, the traditional rulers, the inhabitants, to please give us information about these kidnappers. Because most of these kidnappers are known. We know them very well. The indigenous, they all know them. But at times, it's difficult for them to come and give us uh, the answer, to tell us, this is a kidnapper, this is a kidnapper. To the extent that there was a time when kidnapping was so rampant in Obingwa, and it was being done with the connivance of some of the people in that place, if you are going to Obingwa, you see some people who are selling fuel. They all have their GSM. When they see a policeman, they will inform those people that policemen are around. And this annoyed and aggravated the policemen to the extent that they went on rampage in Obingwa. You know that very well. And we have to come in to placate the situation. Therefore, I want to tell you, my brother who asked the question, please, 
You have a role to play also. You don't stay in Lagos. You give us ideas and come and help us to fight this. <laughs> Secondly, the other one you are talking of government, parallel this, parallel this, your hand is caged. I am the governor, you are not the governor. You will not tell me whether my hands are caged. I am the person who will say my hands are caged. And what you are saying is not to my knowledge. We don't have a parallel government in Abia State. We have three tiers of government, federal, state, and local government. I am the governor of Abia State, and we have the chairman of the local governments who are in charge of the local government. Right now, that their themes, their theme of office has come to an end. We have heads of service who are serving as chairman. And they are doing very well, and we are doing very well. We don't have any interference. You don't have any interference in government. This idea you brought here are ideas propagated by the opposition, which you are carrying. You don't have empirical evidence to prove what you have said. So I want to use this opportunity to dispel that rumor of saying you have parallel government Parallel government, there's nothing like that. Thank you. And uh, finally, you talked of, finally you talked of industry, talk of development. Yes, the government is there for you. The government is there to provide the enabling environment for any investor to come and invest. And since you have the capacity and you are in Lagos. The doors are open for you to come and invest in your state. Don't use the issue of kidnapping as, uh, as an excuse. There are people who are doing that. Foreigners are coming and investing. I will later on tell you investment opportunities that we have had, those who have invested in our state, who are not even indigenous of the state, yet they are not afraid of kidnapping. They are investing. If they are doing that, what of a person who is from Abia State? Do you have any reason to give for not investing in Abia State? No. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency.